Yeah. Um, I mean, when I started, it was more of a hobby. Um, by the grace of God, I didn't have a stage mom. She was really easygoing. You know, other kids went to ballet practice or soccer practice. I went to auditions. Um, and then I think, you know, one of the biggest things navigating it was having my mom there and still really being a kid and doing kid things as well as working. Um, and then I think the hardest season though was that transition from child actor to adult because, you know, I was playing so young for such a long time. I turned 23 on Roll Bounce and I was kissing Bow Wow playing 16 and Bow Bow was actually 16. <laughs> well. um, and so it was, it was an interesting kind of transition and then when I kind of got to that point, I think one of the things that really helped me was um, 21 Questions music video, um, because 50 was, was a huge artist at that time. And I was like, okay, this is a national commercial. If I do this music video, it's something that plays consistent. And if I present myself as a woman in this video, then I'm constantly giving the messaging, you know, that she is now a woman. Um, and that worked for me exactly the way that I hoped that it would. But... It also turned out that it pigeonholed me after a few years because I kind of became like the sexy girl or the love interest or, you know, all of those things. Um, and then what ended up happening is by the time I got like 26, 27, it was really hard to transition out of those roles. You know, Megan really hit it on the head. Um, television is very different from film. I mean, things are changing now because we have streaming, but when prime time and when television was really like, like the only time you could get it was just on certain channels on your TV, um, which was not too long ago, that experience of you being in a robe, munching your favorite food, and then this person coming into your, you know, your room on screen every single week at a certain time made you feel like this person was your friend. You knew this person intimately, as opposed to the theater experience where you would walk in to it. It's, it's a whole experience. Like you have a sound system and it's an, an environment that, you know, that, that isn't your home and it feels a little bit more formal and there's all of this stuff. And then boom, these stars come on your screen and then it's out. And then you leave the, uh, the theater and you leave them in the theater, you know, so you feel more distant as opposed to what Megan just described. And so I think that there, there are pros and cons with that because the pros are, that people are invested in you and they're invested in what it is you bring. But depending on the character you play, and that was that was me, you know, I was playing a character that was very different than who I was. And it was the first time that people were seeing me. And so I got a lot of people who were very, very convinced that I was exactly who my character was. And so, and, and although some people are like, oh, that's such a compliment because you really played that part, girl, you know, I, I agree, but I also think that it made me sad as the artist because I was feeling like people were not able to see the art that I was doing. 